what would it be worth to you if you could promote your club cheaply to a big audience every hour of the day without having to post a single flyer? Hi, I'm Jeff Sauls. I'm the social media chair for District 56 in 2010 and 2011, and this is a video series on how to build an internet marketing machine for your Toastmasters club. Now this is video series is for open clubs. If you're an open corporate or an open community club, it's looking for new members and you have someone that's at least a little bit tech savvy. They know what they're doing wrong on computer and they're willing to promote the club this way. In this part, we're going to be talking about creating a home base. Now, if you already have your own club website and you're using it fantastically and it's working for you, it's getting new members, then skip this part. Go on to part two. But if you are not sure it's doing as much as it could for you or you don't have one at all, start with this part. Now you can build a website from scratch, write the code and do all that. You can use something like a CMS such as WordPress or Joomla and create a site that way. However, I don't really recommend it because it takes a lot of time, it's kind of difficult, and it's not geared towards Toastmasters clubs in particular. But there is one service that is, and it's called Free Toast Host. So if you go to www.freetoasthost.org, you're going to see this page. I've blown it up, of course, so you can see it better in this video. Free Toast Host provides websites that are specifically geared for Toastmasters clubs. It has rosters. It has goal sheets that are geared for people attaining their competent communicators, advanced communicators, leadership for the club goals such as members, officer reports turned in on time, all that good stuff. So I cannot recommend Free Toast Host enough. The first thing you probably want to do when you're at Free Toast Host, if you've never used a Free Toast Host site before, is to take the tour that they offer. It's a little webinar series. It'll probably take you about 30 minutes to get through at most. It's going to walk you through setting up your site and making sure and actually registering for one, of course, and a few other odds and ends. Once you're ready and you've done that, you can go ahead and hit request your free website. You're going to see something like this. You can enter your club number first here to make sure you don't already have one. It could happen. So let's test this. That's my home club. Oops, we already have one. But if I entered a club number that didn't have it, it would say, hey, you can register. And then I can scroll down and enter in all the details about my new club and then request a free website. In three, about three to five days, they should send you a mail saying, okay, here is your website, here's how to log in, all that good stuff, as you'll see in the tour. Then you can go to work. But you will notice that you're going to get a website address that's kind of ugly. It's going to be something like your Toastmasters Club .free -toast -host .us or .cc or something other that people are not likely to remember very well. So the next step in the process, I suggest you spend, it's going to be eight to $12 tops per year, and you look up an internet domain registrar. And these are the people that make your .coms, your .orgs happen. So as you can see, this is one of them. It's 1N1. There's another. It's called name.com. And another is Network Solutions. There are literally, it seems, thousands of these companies out there. So look around. See who's got a good deal. See who's doing good business. Use Google. Find some coupons. What have you. You should, again, no more than 8 to $12 a year, but it, you're going to pull in so many members when people can remember your domain address. After you've registered, you're going to have a website. It'll look a little bit different than this. This is my home club. We've customized it a little bit already. And you're going to have some important things for any potential member to see. 
First of all, you of course you have the home page, and we've put up that we're proudly a distinguished club, and we have directions to our meeting location because that's what so many people look for, right there highlighted. On the on, over on the main menu, you have important things like membership information. I typically put in things like how much are dues, who do you make checks out to. If you have a, if this is an advanced club, I would put in you need a CC or a CL or whatever to join club calendar this can list your upcoming upcoming club meetings we'll talk about that in a bit directions very critical you want to have maybe a map that you can embed from Google Maps or at least textual directions that tell people how to get to your place and have the address for people with GPS contact us extremely important you'd be surprised how many people write in and say are you guys still meeting public downloads very important I always keep a PDF version of the membership application there as well as a new guest guide so people can come they can read that and they can see oh this is what's going on and not come in totally confused and totally scared so let's see how you start editing this site. You scroll all the way down, you're going to see a little link called Site Administration. When you click that, you're going to go into the back end. It will ask for your login and password, which should be supplied in that mail. If you've already got a site and you don't know the login and password, you need to ask the previous administrator of it. First of all, Club Calendar. If we use this link, we're going to see Update Club Calendar. And you, as you can see, here's the calendar itself. Now, my club meets every Monday, 6.45, so we've listed every meeting. I have had people come to me and say, you know, I didn't see anything on your calendar, so I was almost not sure you guys were meeting. Now, for every one person that says that, I'm betting there's at least 10 that go, they're not meeting, I'm moving on. They won't contact you, they won't show up. So make sure your meetings are listed on this calendar. People will check. If you'd like to add a new meeting, you just hit the plus button and fill out the form. If you'd like to look at the, everything you've got there, just use that magnifying glass. And the controls for changing months are up here. That's calendar. So let's close that. The other thing, another thing that's important to do, the HTML pages. And these are, these pluses and X's will expand and contract these just so you can make your interface nice and clean. You can edit your home page. Very important to have good copy there. If you want more hints on how to do that, generate some copy, you can check out my other video series. It's Get 20 by 620. That'll teach you how to, a lot about some internet marketing as well, but also about how to write some copy and make some ads. The membership information page, like I said, put in those dues, put in a nice chart. Directions page, again, insert the Google map, insert the textual directions, tell them how to find you when you meet. Contact us. You want to have full phone information and the email address and all of that. And here's a little trick. If you don't want to list your email information, and or even better, you would like to list it once and never have to change it with, say, TI or with District 56 or your relevant district if you're watching this from a different district, then you can go into Website Settings, which is down here, and they have a nice email aliases section. Well, I always put Contact Us as the very first one and then you can put in some the person who gets contacted email address then you only give out the say contact us at my awesome toastmasters club.org and that never changes the only thing that does change is this right here you can do the same for president education membership public relations however you want to do it you've got five make sure to use them also on the back end, you want to put in your domain name. 
You don't put in www because they do that already for you. You just put in the domain name that you purchased. So we we have SciFair Super Speakers try to work. If you have your awesome Toastmastersclub.com, you would put that in there. Let's back up. So we've covered the main HTML pages. The last thing I you want to do is available downloads. This is critical because you want to have a membership application, definitely. I've created a new guest orientation document. You are free to come to SciFairSuperSpeakers.org and shamelessly rip this off. Please do it. I would like every club to have this. This tells guests, it gives them a nice summary of what goes on at a meeting and the various roles. It also has an, a membership application attached to it. This is a Toastmasters officer roles. It gives an explanation of those and some worksheets that are public. Some people do like to have all that stuff ahead of time and you can, with that new guest orientation guide, you can really make a difference in those people who are just terminally afraid to go out anywhere. That about covers how starting to build your website. Again, the tour and the documentation that's available on their website will tell you more about how to use the editor and things like that. The specifics, because I can't cover it all in one 15 minute video. If you've already started to do this stuff, great. If you're thinking about it, review the video make a to-do list and give it to the people at your club, split it up however you want to do it, and really make this home base because it's going to be critically important in, over the parts that are coming up. All right, that about covers building your home base. Just remember one other thing is you want to register it with your district, in this case, District 56. Make sure they know all about your new home base and also with TI, you can use the club officer tools to, to enter in your club's website and also that contact, contact us address we talked about. That will make your life a lot easier and they'll be automatically directed to your website. So it's another little bit of marketing that's going to help you out. All right, that said, good luck in building your home bases if you have questions or comments, put them below. I'd love to see them. Thanks, and stay tuned for part two.